All right, guys, welcome back to Living Pacific Northwest. So I just went to Walmart, picked up a one-person backpacking tent. It's not the best one in the world. Never even heard of that brand, really. Um, it was like 25 bucks. In a way, it's like next to nothing for a uh, tent. But I'm going camping this weekend, and I kind of just needed a one-person little tent. Something I can use for backpacking too. This is small enough I can kind of tie it to my backpack or throw it in there somehow. But it sleeps one. Center height's three foot. Weighs three pounds. Um, those are the dimensions right there for you. 96 inches long, 48 inches wide, 36 inches high in the front. Um, so I'm going to take this out in the backyard and put it together. Wish me luck. I'm probably going to throw on the chesty for this because I don't have that tall of a, uh, this thing. Tripod. Nice little shady spot. There we go. First, we'll take it out of the box. Super simple. <clears throat> I'm going to need a knife. There we go. Got the nails of steel. Okay. Nice little thing. Pull. Pull. There we go. Tie downs. I'm just gonna roll this thing out. Ah, that didn't work. Got a little pull tab here. If I can uh, figure out how to do this. Seems like it's a good size so far. Aha, okay. Bear with me, guys. This is, I'm going to put this thing <clears throat> right there so I don't lose it. The back of the tent. This is like half moon shaped one. It's going to go back here. Just like that. There we go. And then we'll throw it. Right. Lead into these little holes, or these little things right here. Make sure this is make sure this is up like that. I'm gonna grab this second one. Throw it in here. Just like that. Take these clips, connect them just like this. Gives a little extra support so it doesn't bow out and break. There you go. So that one's done. Tricky part now. Goes in there. So I'm gonna do that right now. Or attempt to. Out. So take this little tab thing in there. <laughs> and this, and the same thing. There we go. Okay. See, that looks a little bit better. So let me uh, get in this little baggie. Okay. 
this rope doesn't seem very tough either. Honestly, I would uh, probably put some 550 cord on it if I cared that much, but I kind of don't. You just kind of push your rope up there and I'm guessing. I have absolutely no idea. We're gonna take this. Just gonna put it right here for a second. Just to hold it. Make a little loop. Put it in about. The same thing with these. Things right here. Bam. Bam. So all I did was feed it. Not feed it. Put those little um, anchors. Do little eyelets. Feed one back through here. As I fall over. I have one back here. Cool. So this is actually pretty long. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. Nice little tent. I don't see any, excuse me, any other tie downs along here. So this is just kind of gonna be really windy and wonderful. But I kind of just wanna look inside real quick. Zipper, like usual. Ooh, look at this. I'm gonna take it off the GoPro real quick. Then. Look at that. It's a decent amount of everything in there. Decent amount of room. I'm very impressed. Let's get in there real quick. Not very roomy, but you don't really need it to be. I could definitely lay down here and do what I need to do. Looks like you got a little pocket here. It looks nice, it looks real nice. One thing I would recommend that I have now noticed, this super thin material. I have pine needles. I have pine needles um, and they were poking me through it. So, definitely need to put down a, uh, something down here. Even if you have your own sleeping pad, I would recommend just putting a uh, um, putting something down so it doesn't poke through. But this looks it looks pretty good. I like it so far. It took me about 15 minutes to put it up, including my screw up. So that's not bad at all. This is going to be windy. So if you're in the wind. Um, as you can see, thank you wind is a prime example. It's going to be windy and noisy and pretty terrible, but if you're just looking for a quick pop-up tent, I would definitely recommend this. All right, guys, part two, digging it down. It's never as fun. So what I'm going to do, start with is uh, just pulling these out the little anchors pull watch it collapse pulling out this one pulling out this one this one and they give you a decent amount like even if you don't use them all you'll have extras if you lose one these go back in the bag. All right, back. Done. Then I'm going to take out these um, poles out of the anchors. Pull them out. Done. Do it to both sides. <clears throat> I 
and then just try to either push or pull them out. Just careful not to snag them or sometimes they'll get stuck like this. So all you gotta do is lift it up. There you go. Be careful. Go slow. Don't rip it. Don't break it. Alright, so there's pole one. Then you just break these down. Pretty simple. Ta-da. Same on this side. Take the poles out of there. Things. Don't forget to unclip these. Pretty simple. That side popped out for me, so I can just feed this through. There we go. Undo it. Here. Done. Now I gotta figure out how to fold. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's get to tie these off. Oh yeah, look at that. Much easier. A little longer than what it was originally, but you just punch it in there, it'll be fine. Put these in there. Oop, oop, I get that fish tail. Get that back in there. There you go. Ta-da. All right, here we go. First impressions, fantastic. A lot better than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. It, the, the length, amazing. Um, you could probably put somebody that's six foot plus in there. I'm 5'11", so I can definitely fit in there with, with my backpack. And, Let's say it took me 10 minutes to pop it up. Not hard at all. It took me maybe five to eight minutes to break it down. And that's just because I had to refold it because I screwed up the first time. In this box, you could probably put it back in the box, I guess. Yeah, so setup time and breakdown time. Super fast on this thing. Super, super fast. I don't know what this says. There was no directions with this whatsoever. I kind of just had to look at this picture figured out. There's only two poles though. So that's nice. Super easy. This is like a super easy, super easy concept, if you will. Um, I'm going to test it out next weekend. Next weekend. So I will do another review on how it performs out there. And I'll be laying on super uneven gra uh, grass potholes everywhere. So I'm probably going to get a uh, a tarp to lay down under this because when I was crawling in there I could feel needles poking through the bottom already. So this is very thin material. Very thin. I don't even know if it's waterproof honestly. Um, it says wind and weather resistant. Um, <laughs> it's probably not waterproof. Probably not waterproof at all. But we shall find out. I would definitely use this for summertime. It's like 80 degrees out here now. Super hot for Washington, at least for me. Um, but I definitely use this for summertime. Hiking or what have you. We shall see next weekend on how well it actually does hold up. So that'll be the challenge. All right, that's it for today, guys. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. If not, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. I'm still going to make them. Um, talk to you guys later.